fucking PVC bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Having, having fun in the PVC bubble. Oh, fuck, uh, <laughs> 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 Yo, what is up guys? Jersey Bolts here. Guys, <laughs> uh, you know, this is not going to be the, the typical fight uh, video because basically... This is called the PVC bubble. And what that means is that because of COVID-19, we are not able to leave. We are not able to interact with anybody, but our team and nobody can come in. This, this is different. This is very, very different how, how they're running things. You know, we had to come a week earlier. We, we got here Monday and then we were just basically focusing on my weight. You know, I've been real, real good on weight so far. Like we can't do anything. There's nothing to do. Literally, we can't go outside. They have us locked in the hotel. We can only go to the second floor and our floor, which is the fifth floor. The second floor is only to work out, to eat, and if you want to mingle with maybe the other fighters that are there and that's it. I try not to think about it too much. You know, I'm just here to take care of business and that's it. But it definitely is different. But with things are going, how things are going, you know, I'm, I'm just maintaining that positive mentality. And I'm just happy to be back. I really am. So it is Thursday. We're gonna eat in a bit. So I'll show you how things are right now, but I think at three o'clock we have a photo shoot. Probably gonna work out again, make sure I'm on weight. Tomorrow is the weigh-ins at, at one o'clock, I believe. That's it, you know, we just go do what we have to do and just come back to our rooms and just chill out, that's it. So the video is gonna be fairly short, but I'm just gonna try to get, you know, everything we go through, all the protocols and stuff like that. And I'm actually grateful that PBC is doing this because they're making sure we don't have the virus. So, cause I do have the virus and I'm all over here. Like, kind of like top rank shows or the zone shows literally like the, the fight just gets canceled and i get sent home that's it so i'm kind of glad that pvc is making us do tests you know, weeks before the actual fight the way we've been doing the tests was uh, also blood work and they would get like a q-tip long q-tip thing and just put it like up to right here 15 seconds on each nostril you know it wasn't too bad it kind of tickled but it wasn't too bad this is what sucked. So we get here and they say, all right, first thing you gotta do before you enter the PPC bubble is you gotta do the test. Like, all right, we're like, all right, we, we, we've been doing this for like three weeks during camp, so we good, you know? We did it every Tuesday and Friday, we good, let's do it. Rick goes in, he's basically the guinea pig and he does it and then when he comes out, he doesn't say anybody, when he comes out, he's like, oh man, I feel my eye, like it's getting numb. And I was like, what? what? I go, I say hi to the doctor and everything, I get there and he tells me, all right, lean back. I lean back and he tells me, all right, I'm just gonna put it in your nose for, I'm just gonna put it, the, the tip in your nose. I'm like, all right. So he puts it in and he keeps going and going and going. And I feel it like in my damn throat. Like, oh my goodness, it was worst feeling ever. I feel like we're gonna, I think we're gonna have to do it like two more times or maybe one more time, but that was the worst feeling ever. Even after our fight, we're not able to, you know, go out, do anything. Right after the fight, we gotta come back to our rooms and that's it. You know, literally just here to take care of business. But we gotta do what we gotta do, you know? So Eric. Morning. Morning. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just all over there. Over here, where we eat. The workout rooms over there. They test us, I don't know where. And we go back to our rooms and that's it. See you at lunch. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so basically, that's it. All we can do is go downstairs, walk around, talk for a little bit, basically waste time. <sighs> but you know, we're here for one thing, one thing only, and I'm just, I'm just blessed to be here. I'm blessed to be back. You know, time's going by real, real slow. But surprisingly, though, I actually feel really, really good. You know, I'm only one pound over, and usually during fight week, I'm like not wanting to talk to anybody. But right now, I feel like I feel like I'm getting a lot better in the dieting. I feel like the the weight cutting's uh, getting a little bit easier. I'm becoming more dedicated with my diets, so it's becoming a lot easier. But as far as this PVC bubble thing, you know, it's. It's something else that's different, but I'm not, I'm not letting it, you know, affect me too much. I'm just here to take care of business. That way we can go home and get ready for the next one. Cause I, I know they're going to want to keep me busy. So I'm just, I'm just excited to be back. We got one hour for, for the workout room and that's it. I'm doing shadow, a little bit of mitts inside the room. We'll just put the heater on. We'll put the hot water in the shower and we'll open the doors. That way there's a lot of steam everywhere and we'll just work with what we have, you know, we just trying to make the best out of it but definitely this is this is uh this is history man this i know it's not gonna be like this forever but this is this is history and i'm glad to be a part of it so since you know we're not able to celebrate or do anything we're gonna we're we were already planning it out like my dad was like hey we're gonna go to trejo's tacos you know danny trejo he has his has taco shop here in la so we were gonna go but they ended up telling us no we're not leaving you know we have to stay here until sunday like until we leave for the flight so basically what I did, you know, they they put out our food there, you know, breakfast is at eight, uh, lunch is like at 12, I don't know, it's all scheduled by for different camps, but they put out like, oh my goodness, they put out like so many desserts. I mean, I'm a dedicated fighter, but I, I've given up desserts and any, everything for six weeks, you know, I'm, I'm craving it, but I know I gotta do it after I fight. So I was getting a bunch of desserts and putting it in my little fridge here so what we got so far the bananas for later uh pineapple upside down cake german chocolate cake and uh four berry cheese mousse i actually got two of those victory party is gonna be me german chocolate cake spongebob that's pretty much it but man i'm so anxious to fight i'm so ready camp went really really well and I'm excited, man. I really am. Truly blessed that PVC is putting me on, on mainstream Fox for this fight. So it's it's gonna be different. No audience, but you know, I'm not I'm not letting anything any of that you know affect me at all. I'm just here to take care of business and that's it. So I'm excited. <sighs> Finally, last workout. What's going on in there? Right up the face. Hey! Hey! No, this right here is the real walk to the fight. <laughs> and I feel that thing like touch my eyeball. 
Yeah, the first time kind of caught me off guard. Oh, I want to win already. Time yeah, time coffee time. Weighing time, Have you had my mom coach? <laughs> Some good water right there. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea how good this feels. Like, you feel like all the hard work has paid off after you weigh in. So I'm just gonna refuel and uh, I'm ready. I'm more than ready. Honestly, I'm anxious now. Uh, I'm gonna try to get as much as possible, you know. I'm not really sure if they're gonna be letting me record inside or anything like that, but I'm gonna see. I know like the Microsoft Theater is like walking distance from here, so they're gonna walk us over there. I'm like the first fight on Fox, which is, I believe the Fox fights are going to be before the FS1. So I'm going to be the very first fight, get it taken care of, and then come back and just wait until my flight the following day. Man, I've been here all week, man. Uh, I want to go home. <laughs> We're finally out of the bubble. All right, guys. Well, it's, uh, it's fight day. They're escorting us to the Microsoft Theater. It's fight day, I'm ready. I was born ready. So I'm probably gonna put clips of what, what my dad and Rick get before me getting wrapped up and stuff or whatever. That's pretty much it guys, wish me luck. What's up, Herbie? What's up, man? You good? Yes, sir. All right. Ready to rock and roll? Thank <laughs> you. 
Three of his last four fights. He fought five times in 2019, Juarez did, so he's very active. And, uh, you know, throw some punches. I like that. Stay in town. Landed a good hook, but he's not going to make it easy for Juarez. Good right hand there by Juarez. He's, he's trying to figure shy. He's not as easy to pin down as he thought he was. You want to ask me which one? <laughs> which one's Joe? Uh, well, one in particular. Shaw. Shaw. Shaw's a good fighter. He's he's given uh, Omar a he's, lot. He's reactional. Of, he's Omar Juarez has uh, at least one knockdown in his last three fights and uh, a knockout in three of his last four. Uh, you you. But he's making it difficult for Wars to do what he said he wanted to do. Right, and Willie Shaw is not really landing. Omar just caught him with a good right hand and another one right there. Uh, this is where Omar wants to be, as close to Willie Shaw. Now, here's he is still undefeated, Omar El Relampago Juarez. All right, guys, we took the win. It's a very, very, very crafty fighter, very tricky. Uh, we started switching to southpaw, which is like out of our game plan, but you know, we came out with the win. On to the next, but uh, yeah, this is, this is definitely a fight that I'm gonna learn a lot from. We got a lot of learning experience. But yeah, we're still in the bubble. Yay. We are not free to go. I'm back to my room. <sighs> Look at that, they had it all blocked. Uh, I mean, at least it came out clean this fight, you know? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not looking forward to a damn 5 a.m. flight, man. It's gonna suck. All right. All right, home sweet home. Well, time for my victory party with all my pastries. Just want to thank you guys so much for all the support. Want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this definitely was a good learning experience, and I'm taking everything in. You know, um, learning more and more every fight, and it's it's just a blessing to be back. It really is. Hopefully, they keep me a bit more busy. Hopefully, I'll fight maybe two more times this year, three more times, as many times as they want. But I'm just looking to stay busy and just gonna pack my stuff because our flight we have to be downstairs at five in the morning. So. I don't think I'm gonna get any sleep. <laughs> we are now 8-0, finally fought after six long months, but I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more content, and as always, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and I'll catch you on the next. Peace.